adaptation of the modern communist ideal, all four foot eleven and seven stone two of her. Just 14 years old, a mechanic's daughter from the mountains of Romania, she was the face and the figure of the Montreal Olympic Games in 1976. But from being a child of the East European ethic, she became a woman of substance, and 13 years after her finest hour, she fled to the West. I'm very happy because I'm here in America and I wanted from long time to come here. Komenech was saying goodbye to a neatly furnished flat and financial security at the heart of Ceausescu's dictatorship. The Ceausescu family used me to be involved in lots of political events and I was not a political person. I was a sport person and I didn't know too many things about politics. And uh, I didn't have a private life. And I realized that I will never have a private life as long as that family will be alive. Once her career on the bars and the floor ended, she became a coach to the national gymnastics squad. Training would be common etches. In all that she did, though, the state pulled the strings. In a communist country, the most important thing is the power. And everybody who has power can do everything in a country. So you need to follow the rules. And I was one that I need to follow the rules. If you don't follow, you cannot survive. When you are desperate and you want to live, you just go. You don't think, you don't think even that you can die or you can be caught or you don't think of that. So this is a romance, yes? Love is a secret. <laughs> Her ultimate escape to America with the Romanian exile, who she vehemently denied was her lover, put her under enormous media pressure. You are in a free country and you are not free. And it's like, where is the place where I can go to live? And it was a little too hard for me at the beginning. Those early days of training in the gymnastic centers of Bucharest had been relentless and rigorous, almost endless. Education took a back seat. And while her parents liked to feel they were directing her life, in reality, the Romanian coach Bella Caroli exercised a Svengali-like hold over her. I didn't have a childhood like uh, any other kid, but. I uh, did something in my life that not everybody had the chance to do. And now the years are gone, and I'm 30 years old, and I'm happy because I did that. She won her first national title at the age of 12, and made her big breakthrough in London in 1975, winning an international competition at Wembley as a prelude to the European title. At the age of 13, it was one of sport's youngest comebacks. She'd been dropped from the team that year, for lack of talent. I came with something new in gymnastics. 